Now on this, uh, the closest table to us, we've got um, Jack Horsley and um, Nick Howie from Victoria. And the most pleasant of the Victorian boys, they all think uh, Dux is a, quite a funny bloke. Enjoyable to uh, hang around with and uh, always keep somebody laughing, but he can also play the game quite well, so it's very important. Very quick player. He doesn't take long to line up. Nick Howie's just got a ball on the break. Got two yellows. Yep, two yellows, John. Part of Nick Howie there. And Pike is fouled on the far, on the far side. Yellows of the balls for Nick. Nothing stopped him. He's just got to let the white light. He's chosen the yellows, part of the yellow, and he's uh, got four more remaining plus the black. All the balls are in the open, but as we all know, nothing's ever given. The, uh, the pressure build up here, you can feel it here, and uh, you don't blame anyone who actually misses tonight. Pice has played a, a great snooker. It's quite a good snooker too, John. Put the young fellow under a lot of pressure, but I'm sure he'll, he'll be looking into what he can do before he decides, making sure he's got the, all the options. I think he might lay in there. No, well, there is that red on the far side. He might be able to get it a little bit aside. Woo, 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 woo. This is the point. Yeah, great shot. Good touch. Yep, he's let out of it, the young fellow, and uh, put it well on his ball. I think right up it. Another go. They're trying to put the white in there off the bottom yellow and in behind the two. Oh, no. Now the thing is that this red ball, this this red ball near the black. I was just wondering, it had an option of getting the red and yellow out together on the side rail. He may take the one over the hole and then work his way up. Well, he's got one off the rail. That's right. And young Luke's uh, committed a foul on the far table again. Yeah, Luke, table. Luke is scrapped. Luke is scrapped. He'll probably get the other red out now off the push. No, he's a bit short. level of pool driver, one of the biggest things is to make sure you commit 100% to every shot. Because um, if you don't, there's a chance of missing, and if you let your thumb to the table, there's a chance of losing. So uh, let's see. Very yes, as, as, as making sure you can pinpoint the white where you want. Absolutely. There we go. The man's got the touch of a pickpocket. Paul Pye still got two shots in the far table. He's going to roll his ball in. 
by Mixus Community Apparel, who's given Dax two shots. Hopefully in theory he's trying to get him to waste his first shot and see what goes from Paul Pike on his way out. So the score is 5-1 to Victoria. I think the Victorians in part of their plan was to make sure that they didn't let a double wave get to, out to a big lead like um, the last time they got, got a run on, so I think the Victorians are actually... And it's all about momentum, you know? Yeah, absolutely. We have a beautiful Laurie Sheehan at the moment, watching in on us, making sure that we're uh, keeping it all legal and proper for ourselves. And not being too vocal for the Victorians, as we are both in slightly Victorian ourselves. Back to just off the right, a bit trying to get the red off the rail. But I reckon there's a chance you'll probably end up behind. Yes. That's a great shot. Good pass. Yeah. On the far table, we've got Justin Sage. This is... Jamie. Justin's had a great week as well on the table. <laughs> Nick wants to get out of the snooker and the white ball in a fairly safe position. It's going to put Dax under a fair bit of pressure. Big shot, Dax. Just taking the white safe. <laughs> but I reckon there's a chance if this yellow goes past the other one, if he rolls it up. Nick is back at the table. He's a chance to uh, make up for probably the mistake he's feeling a little bit that he played for. It's, yellow. it's a bit tight, but it will roll past. Is he going to play for Jackie? No, no, he's gone. He's elect. He's going to play for safety. Johnny wasn't sure of the shot, so he's taken on the chance to let Dax back to the table, and um, he'll wait to see what the fella can do. As I say, uh, it, it could go past just... Dax has got this tough red down the rail and he's decided to offer safety. That's a great shot. Great touch. And there's the difference in late and extra shot. Sure, what Jamie's on up there. I would imagine he'd be on uh, yellow balls. I think he's just gonna put one over somewhere. Try and promote the ball. <laughs> Nick's got out of the snooker. I would say Jamie Stevens normally is one of the tightest players I've seen. In the Victorian shirt, he's uh, always making sure he doesn't just give anything away for the sake of it. I don't know. So we're talking about playing. If there's, if there's an equal, it's Justin, who's probably uh, a great player in his own life. And Dax has just knocked him two and one. And there's the whole thing about uh, holding back and waiting. You've got to get the balls, and, and if you sit back, too long, as Dax has just proven, you'll get an opportunity to knock him in. As we said before, he's the national final of the eight ball in Australia, and uh, he's taking a little bit longer over the plate because um, it is a pressure game out there. Yeah! Run straight in.